what's going on guys all right this is the makita 18 volt brushless subcompact drill driver um you can get it as a bare tool or with um, the impact driver in a combo kit two two amp hour batteries charger and a nice little soft case that'll run you around 229 bucks um you know depending on where you get it and all that you can also like i said buy it as a bare tool around 100 bucks 110 bucks um but for its size this drill has a lot of power and it has a lot of applications that it can be used for but it's not a drill it's not a full-size drill it's not something you want to be using you know one inch spade bits one and a quarter inch spade bits auger bits you know, one inch drill bits with, um, you know, it's not made for that. It's a subcompact, um, you know, it, what, like I said, 90% of what the average guy, the average tradesman is going to need to use a drill driver for. I think that this would be a great tool for you to consider. Um, you know, you don't need a lot of people who are in these, you know, unless you're working, you know, in a certain trade where you're using powerful, you know, hammer drills, big powerful drill drivers, SDS, rotary drills, and all that stuff, you know, obviously this makes doesn't make sense for you. But for someone who's already in the Makita platform, or someone who, you know, doesn't they want something small and compact like this. You know, they want something and you know, this thing looks cool, it's it's black, and oh my god, I love it. Um, you know, they want to stay kind of in the 18 volt platform, but want the 12 volt size. This is a tool or, a, or a drill that you can, should really consider about getting. Now you just saw a, a quick little, um, vid of, you know, the Makita doing some applications with it. And then I threw in a impact driver. That was nothing more than I get a lot of questions from a lot of people on, Hey, you know, just bought a house or I'm just starting my tool collection or I mean I got like 15 year old kids hey I'm, I'm starting to get into the whole tool thing I don't have a lot of money what 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 do you recommend for doing this and that and the only point of that is you know I, I say in a lot of vids these regular drill drivers you know are really becoming you know I don't want to say obsolete because obviously a lot of trades need drill drivers and all that but these impact drivers today, uh, you know, with these impact ready bits and, you know, all the stuff, the, the new stuff that's coming out, they have, they're so versatile, these impact drivers today. You know, I just wanted to show, you know, I saw it there, I'm doing this, I was kind of struggling with the one inch spade bit. You know, I did two holes with it, I changed batteries. I'm like, you know what, let's see this old Milwaukee impact driver. Let's see how this does with the one inch spade bit. And... Uh, you know, it went through it pretty, pretty easily. But the only reason I did that was to show that a lot of people, like I said, asked me, what tool do they recommend? If you can only have one tool, you know, you kind of want to start off, but you want to do it. You want to use it for this. You want to use it for that. And I always recommend, you know, impact drivers are just really the way to go. If you can only have one tool, but I just wanted to add that in there. But when it comes to drill drivers, you know, people ask me too, you know, should I get a drill driver? Are they worth it? And, um, you know, I say, listen, if you're looking for a drill driver, look at getting a hammer drill. You know, they usually have a little bit more torque, um, you know, and they have the hammer mode to them that, you know, if you ever need it, you don't have to go out and buy another tool. And they're really only a couple bucks more than a regular drill driver. But I just wanted to add that in the video because some of you might be, why did he use an impact driver? We're talking about drill drivers here. But I just wanted to put that in there just to show, you know. But anyway, like I said, this is the Mikita. This is the XFD11. This is an 18-volt brushless subcompact drill. Uh, you saw what it can do. We did a uh, half-inch spade bit. Uh, we did a quarter-inch, um, you know, drill bit, wood drill bit. Went through it like nothing. Uh, it even got a one-inch spade bit done. Now, you saw me struggling with it. I would not recommend if you're going to use, you're using spade bits on a regular basis. This is not the tool for you. But 
you can do it under certain circumstances. Uh, the going to a four amp hour battery really didn't help its performance that much. But you know, the thing about this tool, really light, really compact, and you know, for the electrician who's not really, you know, doesn't really need that much power. He's just drilling in holes with you know regular drill bits to run wire and all that and you don't want to carry a four or five pound drill this is something you know really small compact light and it really has a lot of power for its size guys uh that's what you really should get out of this whole subcompact category uh, i don't know what makita plans on doing with it if they're going to expand it uh from what i hear it's selling like hotcakes <clears throat> on a sunday morning excuse me so not sure even if other brands are going to get into this whole subcompact category, but it's doing well for Makita from what I hear. But it should be because it's a really nice tool. It's a really well-made tool. Um, you got 20 settings on it, as you can see. You got your drill mode um, right here. You know, are they going to come out with a subcompact hammer drill? Are they going to come out with a subcompact impact wrench? Who knows? You know, the sky's the limit. It's a whole new category. But like I said, 20 setting, excuse me, 20 settings, uh, a drill mode. Uh, you got these great um, over molds to protect it. You know, it's nice and black, but sometimes you can't even pick up that these over molds are just protecting it. And they're all in the right spots. If you know me, I love these rubber over molds because when you drop these things, you lay them down, they fall over. You know, they can really get scratched, dented up, cracked. And with this protection, it really does um, protect the tool. And it gives it a little bit of a longer life and, you know, better looks to a degree. But um, you got two speeds, obviously. Speed one. And then speed two. It's blowing some air. Look at that. It's blowing blowing stuff around on my bench. Ooh. So it's got some power to it. It really does, guys, for the subcompact. You got the the LED light, the one light right above the trigger. You got it's on a 10-second delay. Really bright. Um, you know, really bright. Might be one of the brightest uh, that I've kind of seen on a drill in a while. Um, you know, my lighting isn't too good in here, but it really lights up the space pretty good. Um, comes with a belt clip already attached to it. Um just a real nice tool and if someone's looking for something small compact and if they're in the makita platform already and you know you don't really need tremendous amount of power for what you're doing as a trade this is definitely a tool to consider um it's made well it's made by makita um and you're gonna get good results out of this tool um, I really recommend getting the combo kit because it just makes no sense to buy it as a bare tool. Uh, you're going to spend 120 bucks for another 100 bucks. You're going to get the impact driver, two batteries, another charger, and a case. So, but that's up to you. But um, it's a great piece of equipment. Again, I don't know what Makita plans on doing uh, to expand maybe the platform uh, that category, but they really hit a home run with it really comfortable um you know like i said i have the smallest hands in the world here and i mean it's just it's just it's just a really nice comfortable compact tool so any comments or questions let me know and um we'll catch you guys on the next one